Well, we're going to be squeezing out another couple of inches of snowfall here in the next uh, couple of nights and mornings as we continue to see one round of snow after the other push through across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. We're getting more of that snow currently in the Snake River Plain and through the Snake Highlands right now, moving to the southeastern. Uh, met quarter of Idaho and getting into western Wyoming and more of this wraparound snow of a big pocket of low pressure along with the snow. It's very cold outside. Obviously, we're going to see really chilly temperatures take hold by this weekend to bring in the new year as the snow clears out. We're currently sitting at 16 degrees in Idaho Falls. Feels like one with the wind chill winds out of the south at 15 miles an hour. Over to the Pocatello Farm Bureau Skycam, 17 degrees with the winds out of the southwest at 16 miles per hour. Feels currently like two with that wind chill and it is still continuing to snow there around the Gate City and making for some slick spots along I-15. The area of low pressure we're talking about is currently centered over California, Nevada and all of that stuff wrapping back in here for tonight, tomorrow, along with another reinforcing shot of some windy weather along the jet stream for Wednesday and Thursday. So with that reinforcing shot coming down the pipeline, we got more wind in here for Wednesday. We got snow. We got some very frigid temperatures for the overnight early morning hours, and we got some real cold air coming down from the north as we head into Saturday and Sunday over to the Viper cast later tonight. The snow that we're seeing outside right now begins to turn off a little bit and starts to taper off head further into the higher elevations. We'll still have a few flakes late tonight through the overnight hours, but watch what happens as we step into tomorrow morning around the commuting time of 8 o'clock, especially Idaho Falls north to Island Park and further into Montana back into central Idaho. We have a chance for some snow tomorrow morning and it's going to start to envelop much of the valley as we head through the midday early afternoon for tomorrow. That snow will continue to push to the southeast slowly as we get into Wednesday evening, beginning to clear out out, though in central Idaho and western Idaho tomorrow night and then the snow is out of here for a bit Thursday morning before more snow again another round of wet weather working into the region for Thursday continuing into Friday Thursday afternoon right back at it with more of that snowy weather. The first round of snow here for your Wednesday on top of the snow we've already seen. We're looking to add another couple of inches out there for Idaho Falls right now about one to two inches on average. The uh, snowfall amounts here with the Wednesday system and we'll add a couple of more inches in Island Park about two to four inches and the same for the Driggs area with a couple of inches in town for Jackson. So not a major amount of snow, but just enough to get the snow shovel out again and to clear off some snow up the driveway and make for some icy spots. We have some snow in the forecast cast for tonight through Wednesday. The winds picking up at 15 to 35 out of the southwest and those overnight sub zero wind chills, which will be down to about a minus five minus 10 in some spots. Again, that's what it's going to feel like with the actual air temperature closer to zero in southeastern Idaho Two tonight for the high uh, for the low tonight. Excuse me, Montpelier with the high of 23, 23. Also the high around Lava and 25 in Malad highs in Jackson at 18 tomorrow, low of five tonight and your wind chill is going to be down well into the sub zero teens tomorrow morning. We'll be at Goose Egg for Island Park at a big zero. We got 15 for the high tomorrow, 20 in Rexburg tomorrow with a high of 20 also in St. Anthony. Minus four in Mackey, minus six in Arco with highs struggling to get to 15 and the high of 23 for Salmon with highs at 23 also in Idaho Falls. Low of 10 tonight. Your wind chill is going to be about a minus five tomorrow morning. And we got 12 for the low tonight in Pocatello with highs into the upper 20s. In that extended forecast, you'll notice the high into the upper teens for Jackson for the next couple of afternoons. Scattered snow in the forecast. Numbers will be into the teens and 20s on Friday, but check out Saturday getting awfully cold. Unfortunately for this weekend, it's going to be a high of 11 in town for Jackson, and it makes for a very cold skiing day if you're going to be going out Saturday. Salmon, a high of 24 for Thursday, 23 on Friday. Low 20s for the high on Saturday. Central Idaho will have a chance of snow tonight, tomorrow, but not as much as the Snake River Plain. Blackfoot, a high of 25 and 26 for Wednesday and Thursday, dropping down to a high of 14 chilly degrees for Saturday afternoon. Rexburg, high of 20 for tomorrow and Thursday with those gusty winds. Some nasty overnight lows getting into the new year with a low of minus one Saturday morning and a high of 11 in the afternoon. Pocatello seeing a significant drop in the temps for the weekend. Highs in the upper 20s for Wednesday and Thursday with more snow in the forecast. A high of 18 for for Saturday and 24 for Sunday. Idaho Falls will be the low to mid 20s as we get into Wednesday and Thursday with a high of 23 in IF for the next couple of days. Lower 20s on Friday and a lower teens on Saturday with a high of 12, 19 degrees on Sunday. Our John Adams Spirit of Idaho coming to us from Charlie and Idaho Falls. Beautiful pivot that has been decorated, all decked out for the season.
Yeah. Love that. I love how you can decorate a pivot like that. <laughs> I like that. I've never seen that before. I mean, I, I've seen some hay bales decorated and some farmhouses, but I don't think I've seen a pivot decorated so neatly. Yeah, there's always something new. I like that though, Charlie. That's nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Michael. Well, coming up, there's a